Hi, my name is Ashley Song. I'm a program manager at Microsoft Maps and Geospatial Group. Today, I welcome you to check out our newly released multi-itinerary optimization API, proudly presented to you by Microsoft Maps team. First of all, what are the use cases of the multi-itinerary optimization API? There are a lot of businesses, small, medium, or large, that focus on service dispatch, field sales management, or customer pickup and deliveries. For example, trucks sending goods to and from distribution centers and retail stores. Shuttle vehicles that pick up and drop off passengers at different places. Postal services delivering mails and packages with collection from commercial or residential locations. There are also professionals and personnel who visit different work sites or homes for medical services, home repairs, sales, food deliveries, and many more. Traditionally, these route planning and service dispatch have been done manually, which is time consuming and difficult to find the optimal solutions, especially as the number of stops increases. If multiple drivers need to be involved in servicing all the stops, the complexity of dividing up all the stops among the drivers goes up exponentially. Our multi-itinerary optimization API automates the process of route optimization to save you time and reduce your operational cost. It does smart scheduling based on the business service time window and the shifts of your drivers. And it improves the productivity of your mobile workforce. Here is a route optimization scenario on Microsoft Campus. A Microsoft shuttle starts from the Commons building and makes four additional stops along the route to pick up and drop off passengers and ends the route at building 33. Without the optimization, if the driver goes to the stops in a sequence of the requests, the total travel distance will be 5.3 miles and the, it will take about 32 minutes to go to the final stop. Using the multi-itinerary optimization API, the sequence of the stops is reordered to optimize for the travel time and travel distance. For example, in the optimized route, it saves about 34% of the travel distance and 26% of the travel time. In a more complex scenario, if there are too many stops for one agent to visit, we will need more drivers to service all the stops and divide the stops among all the drivers. The purpose of the multi-itinerary optimization API is to build multiple itineraries while optimizing the route among all the drivers to save the travel time and travel distance. The multi-itinerary optimization API can handle multi-day routes, multiple agents, multiple shifts, available time windows and priority of each location, the dwell time at each location, while considering the predictive traffic time. To configure for each agent, we define one or multiple shifts. Each shift is defined by a working hour window and start and end location for that shift. Only during these hours, we will schedule itinerary item for that agent. For each itinerary item, you can configure a preferred time window for when an agent should visit and the dwell time at that location. With all these constraints taken into consideration, we build the optimized itinerary, making sure that the agent arrive and leave inside the defined availability time window. The underlying mechanism of multi-itinerary optimization API is the distance metrics with traffic and optimization algorithm we developed with Microsoft Research. So what's distance metrics? Distance metrics calculates the pairwise distance and travel time among multiple locations. As shown in this map, Joe will leave home and have five work sites to visit today. The table on the right calculates the pairwise travel distance among his home and the five work sites. Note that the distance from home to job one may not be the same as the distance from job one to home. With the distance metrics, we can find the optimal sequence and route for visiting all the work sites. And the distance metrics can include an optional histogram of travel times based on a time window and the predictive traffic at these times. As shown on the map below, the distance metrics with predictive traffic calculates the travel time and distance pair over a time window 
For example, you can specify the time interval down to every 15 minutes. For traveling between location 1 and location 4, you can see that there are two peak hours during the 24 hours time window. The first peak around 8 a.m. in the morning and the second peak around the 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Note that the travel distance between location 1 and location 4 does not change during the 24 hours. For traveling between location 3 and 5, there are also two peaks around a.m. and 5 p.m. respectively. However, the travel distance actually varies throughout the day, with the algorithm selecting different routes based on the predicted traffic patterns. Especially from location 3 to location 5, you can see that distance metrics with predictive traffic selects longer but faster routes for the non-peak hours. Here is another sample scenario for the API. Two food inspectors, Charlie and Angie, need to visit 13 restaurants for inspection. The first table shows the shift information. Charlie has two shifts during the day, one before noon and one after his lunch break. His second shift ends at home around 5 p.m. On the other hand, Angie is only available in the afternoon and wants to start and end his shift at the same location. The second table shows the available hours and priority of each restaurant and the, the dwell time the food inspector needs to spend at each restaurant. Note that Monorail Expresso is only open from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Tiger Rail has a higher priority than other restaurants. As we showed earlier, Monorail Expresso only opens between 7 a.m. and 1 p.m., which rules out the inspector NG, who only works in the afternoon. The first shift of Charlie is a perfect example showing how time window constraints are considered. The coffee shop is open until 1 p.m., and the API assigns Charlie to arrive at the coffee shop before 11 a.m. with plenty of time to finish his visit. After his lunch break, Charlie has four more additional stops scheduled in his second shift before arriving home at 5 p.m. Angie, on the other hand, starts and ends his shift from the same location. All his places are available in the afternoon, including the high-priority location, which is the Tiger Rail. All the route optimization for the day is done by the predefined shift, time windows, while considering the predictive traffic. Now I would like to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use the multi-itinerary optimization API. Here is an example post request body in JSON format. We need to define information about the agent and their shifts. In the post body, we define two shifts for Charlie and one shift for Angie, with the start and end locations and times of each shift. In the post body, we also need to define the operating hours, dwell time, and priority of each location. Once you have the post body defined, you can post an asynchronous request with the agent shifts and itinerary items defined in the post body. You can use this HTTP post request URL with your own Bing Maps API key. You can look at this snippet of the JSON response returning information about the async request. The response lists the route instruction for each agent, including leaving from the start location, traveling between locations, and visiting each location. The response also gives a summary of the route for each agent, such as let long of the start and end location and all the waypoints, the total travel time and total travel distance. When a request is successful, a HTTP status code of 200 is returned. That's all for the quick overview of the multi-itinerary optimization API. For more information and the full request body examples of the API, please visit our API documentation page. You may also find information about our other route APIs, such as Truck Routing API, Isochron API, Snap to Road API, on our Bing Maps Route API page. Thank you, and I hope you have a great Microsoft Build 2019.